Sitting around here drinking beers one night, and you know, call my and I, we've been building the bikes for a while. Sitting around saying, hey man, we should make this part, you know, doing some Stelling and Hellings risers. We had a friend in the casting business, and like, yeah, we'll send we'll send the shit out to him, see, you know, see what happens. So one thing led to another, and we started risers, and risers went to top triple trees, and then top triple trees went to purchasing a frame company. <laughs> Emphasize making everything here in the U.S. also, um, you know, I think sometimes we go a little bit overboard with, you know, the, the types of materials and stuff that we use. Um, kind of the best of the best material, you know, the machines that are making it are not cheap, you know, the, the guys that are, you know, helping us out, you know, I'm like, dude, good work doesn't come cheap, man, and guys are always like, oh, yeah, I get it, you know, so. I mean, Jay, Jay's been going out there for a couple is, years now, this right? This will be my fourth year. Yeah. Like I guess Mike and Grant, you know, dug our stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, Carmine, Carmine spoke to him more than I did about it. And next thing I know, we, we get an invite for the show. Well, we went up to their place in Orange, you know, yeah, before yeah. we left California. You know, talked to them a little bit, and then yeah, we got home. I don't know. They, you know, gave me a call and like, hey, do you guys think you'd be interested in doing this? And we're all like, yeah, yeah you know, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's up your back. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, man. Sounds, we, yeah. we make all our own stuff. This is up your breeze, yeah, yeah. man. What have you done, yeah, Mike? Yeah, it sounds. April. It's, yeah, it sounds great. Like back in, yeah, back in like September, it sounds like a, a wonderful idea. But you know, you come down to like you know the last day in May, and you're like, fuck, man. <laughs> Started off with a frame that I picked up from uh, a local indie shop. And the guy calls me up and needed some bread, so uh, he knew that I collected vintage stuff. And he goes, yo, man, I got a knucklehead frame here, you know, I, I need some bread for rent. We struck a deal and it got stored off in storage for two, three years. We start talking, well, we need a frame. He said, you know what, I got a knucklehead frame, let's, let's cut the snot out of this knucklehead <laughs> frame just to piss everybody off. <laughs> we went like two inches up, about an inch out in the front. Um, the rear section was narrowed like an inch, it was shortened about an inch. Yeah, Brandon from Mullins was a, was a huge help in doing the cylinder heads, you know, I spoke to him I and mean, he did a, an amazing job on the, the heads he did for his shovel head last year at Born Free. And a set of OEM, you know, late 50s cases, um, you know, Adam, you know, cleaned them down, took them all apart, kind of went through everything, um, you know, pretty much remachined, you know, every mating surface. Um, you know, the whole idea with the motor was to kind of build something, you know, with OEM cases without kind of reaching into the aftermarket for, um, you know, cases and heads and cylinders and stuff like that, but we wanted something that was going to run, you know, kind of run hard. You know, double front heads. Um, you can kind of see here the, you know, the two bolt um, exhaust flanges that Brandon ended up, you know, modifying. Over on the primary side, there's um, each cylinder head gets fed by a single amyl carburetor, so there's dual amyl carburetors, you know, coming out the primary side. They were nice and small. We were originally going to go with some SUs, but... You know, Morris Magneto, Dave, uh, came through and did, um, you know, a full cast G5 Magneto for us, which is not uh, a normal off-the-shelf piece for him. You know, just to kind of keep that cast look going again, kind of stepping away from that billet. Tranny is a Cal Custom case. Yeah, Cal... We yeah. had stock. You know, got full Andrews, close ratio, first and second. We build all our trannies in-house. You know, transmission, it's not stock, but, you know, it's got a cool case. We dug the case, you know, so we're like, all right, let's, let's put one of these together. So call mine, ordered up some gears. We sat in the shop one night, put it together. First things we had done with wheels, we, we laced and threw all our wheels in-house. You know, the whole front end is all custom, one-off by us. Upper and lower tree, 41 millimeter narrows, and uh, our version of the early Barney's legs done out of uh, stainless. Um, Scott at Chemical Candy actually uh, worked out a little bit of a barter trade. Uh, he wanted some of our parts, and we needed paint work, so that, that kind of worked out really well. Um, you know, we, we ended up making the gas tank, you know, kind of that standard, you know, narrowed Sportster, um, you know, shape is really what we, you know, kind of went after. Something we went with like, um, Almost like a black pearl, um, you know, as the uh, the base color, and then Scott did a really really killer flame job for us. And the oil bag had to be narrowed. The bag, the fender, and the, the tank are out actually at paint right now. So those are one of a couple of things that we had to worry about getting done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, this is going to be definitely a cruiser bike. It's not you know a stoplight to stoplight bike. It's going to be on Parkway, be able to ride it. And, you know, not vibrate, you know, just not. Yeah. Stop.